Okay, question eight. So here we're looking at code and geometry. Now here, thankfully, we're given a nice, simple chart. You know, nice, simple graph, which isn't too bad to look at. We know we find that we got Kun S, which crosses the x-axis, and also T, that also crosses the x-axis, that lines L1, L2, respectively, states over there. We also have um, the line L, the line, the point P on the line L1, which is also on the line L2. Notice that L2 is perpendicular to L1. So here, according to the statement, we know we have L1 has the equation of 5y equals 4x plus 10. Point P has x coordinate 5. So why you should do these kind of equations? When you have a, an x coordinate already given, I will just substitute them straight in. So for example, knowing that this is 5, I'll just say P here has 5, and then the y we have to, of course, find out. We can just plug in this into either the L1, L2 equation find y. Next one, L2 is perpendicular to L1 and pass through point P, yep, quite clear. L1, L2 cuts through the x-axis, again, clear. So of course, the basic, equation, the basic question is, find an equation for L2 in the form of ax plus by plus c. So of course, using the straight line tangent equation, y equals mx plus c. If we know the gradient here, then we can, gradient L1, and we could just use find a perpendicular gradient for L2 and then plug in the x and y coordinate. So first things first, let's find the coordinate of y. Okay, let's do this. So, I'll start here, so part A. So we can say at point P, which is 5 unknown, we can substitute, substitute this into 5y equals 4x plus 10. Put in, replacing x with 5, we're gonna have therefore 5y equals well 4 times 5 which is 20 plus 10 and of course this gives you 30 and then we're gonna have 5y equals 30 hence dividing 30 by 5 will give us y equals 6 so therefore our coordinates for p is 5 6 straightforward now we need to find a gradient and here we should know what the gradient is all we do is just rearrange this equation and put make it put into the form of y equals mx plus c. This will give us a gradient of this L1 equation. So rearranging this equation, so all you have to do is just divide by 5. So we now y equals 4 over 5x plus 2. Hence the gradient of L1 is 4 over 5. And of course, since since line L2 is perpendicular, we can say m2. It's just you multiply this by a negative sign and take the reciprocal. So you got minus 5 over 4. Lastly, to find the equation L2 now, all we have to do is simply using y equals mx plus c and replace it with our coordinates at p and our new gradient. So y is therefore going to be 6 equals m is minus 5 over 4. x is 5 plus c. Expanding this out, this will give us minus 25 over 4. So we're going to have 6 equals minus 25 over 4 plus C. Times everything by 4, we're going to have 24 equals minus 25 plus 4C. Plus and 25 across, we're going to have 49 equals 4C. And therefore, C equals 49 over 4. Plugging everything back into the final equation to the mx plus c, we're just replacing m and c, we should have y equals m, which is minus 5 over 4x plus 49 over 4. Because they want it in this original form, if you remember, into the form of ax plus by plus c, therefore, all you have to do is multiply 4 across, so we're going to have um, 4y equals minus 5x plus 49, and then putting everything on the left hand side, you're going to get 5x plus 4y minus 49. And voila guys, here is your equation of L2. Okay, let's move on to part B. Uh, part B now, so what do we need to do? Here we need to calculate the area of triangle SPT. So just a quick recap. Okay, so I've, I've attached the equation name for L1 and the equation for L2. 
I've also replaced the Y corner 6 with the obtainer, so P is now 5, 6. S and T, S cross the Y axis, and X axis, so of course, we know that X axis is the same as saying Y to 0. And this is using the line L1. T, we use the line L2. So really, we just need to use this equation, set Y to 0, and find X for both. So quite straightforward, and the triangle SPT is just this shape here, which is in the vertical height and the base. Use the area of the triangle, boom, we have it. So without further ado, let's crack on. So at this stage, so let's let's work with S first here. So at point S, we're gonna use the equation y equals 4x plus 10. So of course we can we can find s when y equals zero. So when y equals zero, we therefore have zero equals 4x plus 10. Rearranging this will give us subtracting 10 dividing by 4 will give us x equals minus 5 over 2 easy again let's do it at coordinate t at coordinate t we're going to use other equations which is 5x plus 4y minus 49 equals 0 again setting y equals 0 we should have let's have a think about this we're going to have 5x minus 49 equals 0 simple linear equation so rearranging it plus 49 dividing by 5 immediately it tells us that x equals 49 over 5 not difficult at all is it guys so now all we do is just sketch our triangle so I'll just do a nice simple sketch it doesn't have to be the best triangle ever so we know that this is the coordinate P okay so it's the coordinate P here we have S we also have T so here we know that the vertical height from P to the base so remember this this has coordinate minus 5 over 2 0 49 over 5 0 so this is on that so this is lying on the x-axis so and this is 5 6 so because we know it's 5 6 we know that it goes as high as 6 so the height is 6 now the base is the difference between minus 5 over 2 and 49 over 5 so x axis, so we're, we're at minus 5 over 2 and we're finding the difference up to 49 over 5 so here you're literally just adding these two terms just what you could do, notice that we've got 2 and 5 in the denominator just try and make them both over 10 so multiplying up and down by 5 should give us minus 25 over 10 doubling this will give us 98 over 10 that's it. Terrible in 8. And now to find the difference, it would be 98 over 10 minus minus this, which is the same as 98 plus 25. Adding these two should give us, if my maths is correct, 123 over 10. Don't think it's a hard maths. Just add 2 there and just take away 2. Okay. Huh, not bad. Huh? Okay, so therefore, you can say that the area of triangle SPT equals to, so half times base times size, so half times the base, which is 123 over 10. Some really crazy questions that Excel likes to give us. Times 6. Do some cross simplifying. So crossing out 2 gives us 1, and 6 gives us 3. So now just 3 times 123. Thankfully, it's not a bad number. This should give us 3. 6, 9 over 10, which is not roughly, which is exactly 36.9 units squared. I mean, I think this is fine anyway. You can leave it 369 over 10. But anyway, that's it, guys. Hope this helps, and I shall see you in the next question. Ciao.